coming to the stage, please welcome Mary Miller. Good evening. It is great to be here. I, um, I went through cancer about eight years ago. And this has been a great conference because it is important. The power of humor is so important when you go through something like that. I know that Kathy um, and her partner at lunchtime talked about the, win was it the Windy Moment experience. Was that right? Windy Mountain experience, which is great. Eight years ago when I was going through that, that Windy Mountain event would have blown my wig off. <laughs> Absolutely true. No, 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 no. See, it's not a bad thing because humor got me through that experience. I was going through chemo in the summertime and I took solace in the fact that if a mosquito bit me, <laughs> during chemo, he would only fly a few, few minutes away and his wings would fall off. I like to find humor in all different kinds of places. I was at the, the grocery store in the line waiting to get out, and, and I, apt, I looked down at the magazines, and I saw inside the mind of a hoarder. And I thought, you can't get anything else in there. <laughs> the holidays are, you know, like the Father's Day is coming up, Christmas came and went. I noticed that they, they like to market cologne to women to buy for their men. And I noticed that they give unrealistic names to colognes. I don't know if you've noticed this, ladies. They call it bod, rip dabs, forbidden, obsession. Now, if you really want women to be attracted to you, men, you need to have cologne that gives you what traits that we really want, like um, steady paycheck, <laughs> debt free. One called NOW, N-O-W, that stands for No Outstanding Warrants. I'm thinking good listener. Yeah, I would like do a guy with good listener all over him. <laughs> You're a good listener, take me. <laughs> One called knows how to fix shunk, I'm yours. <laughs> oh my God, I, lo I love the whole name. I, um, I recently broke up with a doctor. I was dating a doctor, is that kind of cool? Yeah, it's not that great. Don't get too excited. Dating a doctor is not that great. First date, he made me come to his house and, th and sit there for like an hour. <laughs> Reading old magazines, Bible tales for young children. <laughs> right? Finally, things are getting pretty hot. They're getting pretty steamy, right? He writes me one of those hot, steamy, sexy love letters. You know what I'm talking about? Like what he wants to do with me? Yeah, that's great. You guys ever tried to read your doctor's handwriting? I had to take it to Kroger, to the pharmacist. <laughs> He's reading it, looking at me, reading it. <laughs> Finally, things are really getting good. We get into the bedroom, right? He has a beautiful bed, comforter, flips it back, no comforter, no sheets. Just that roll of, of butcher paper you pull across. <laughs> He's at the end of the bed going, okay, scoot, scoot, scoot. Do we have dog owners, dog owners, really quickly? I have two dogs. The other night, I let them out. They got sprayed by a skunk. You know what they tell you to use? It does nothing. Here's what you use. My vet told me it is a vinegar and water product. Yep. Summer's Eve. So now I'm standing at 3 o'clock in the morning at Kroger with 16 bottles. 16 bottles of Summer's Eve and a bag of Cheetos. <laughs> and a pint of Chunky Monkey ice cream. I get a sales clerk looking at me like, woo, are you having a party? Right? I look at her and I go, no, 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 no. You see, I've just got to get rid of that skunky smell. I'm Mary Miller. Thank you. That was Mary Miller. Mary Miller.